Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn a very important topic of corresponding angles as many of you uh, uh, have requested on this topic and, and there is a lot of confusion on the corresponding angles that how corresponding angles are formed and corresponding angles are equal or not and so many confusions regarding it. So I'll clear your all confusions today so stay tuned till end so you can have the clear concept about it. So first of all we will see what is corresponding angle. So corresponding angles are the pair of angles that occupies the same relative positions at two different intersections. So in order to understand what are corresponding angles you must know how corresponding angles are formed first. So we will leave the definition here and first we will see how you can form the corresponding angles then it will be easier for you to understand it better. Two lines are intersected by the transversal corresponding angles are formed. Now what does it mean? Let's draw it. Now one thing that you have to keep in mind it's when two lines this point is very important. Most of us uh, have the concept that the corresponding angles are only formed when the two lines are parallel but this is not the case so the concept should be clear that it is not necessary for the two lines to be parallel so here we have the two lines that are drawn line number one is this and line number two is this so these two lines are not parallel to each other but still the corresponding angle will be formed here so let's see how when two lines are drawn like this a transversal is drawn that cut these two lines at two positions so where is the transversal this line is called the transverse so transversal is a line that cuts the two lines at two different intersections so when this happens you will came across the angles so here we have drawn the different uh, the angles with the different um, the parts of the angles with the different colors so you can have the clear concept concept about it now in this way when two lines are intersected by a tra transversal line corresponding angles are formed so here if I write the angles what are the measure of the angles here so so this angle is 51 degree the portion in the blue is 129 degree the portion in the green is 124 degree and the portion in the purple is 56 degree so this was about the angles of line l1 with the transversal then we have the line l2 what will be the angles here let's see so one angle here is of the red portion will be 6 degree and this angle will be 124 degree that is the angle of line 2 with the transversal then we have the angle of the green portion that is 56 degree and the angle of the purple portion is 124 degrees so this is how we have we can uh, write the angles here so now we have to look at the definition of the corresponding angles in order to understand which angles are corresponding angles in this diagram so the definition was angles that occupies the same relative position at two different intersections so what are the same relative positions this 51 degree angle is at the same position to this 56 degree angle so they are having the same relative position so these two angles are corresponding angles so I can write here that 51 degree and 56 degree they are corresponding to each other then 129 degree angle and 124 degree angle are corresponding to each other then 56 degree angle and 124 degree are corresponding to each other and lastly 124 degree angle and 56 degree angle are corresponding to each other so I can say that all these angles are corresponding angles so all these angles are corresponding angles now keep one thing in mind that the two lines that were intersected by the transversal were not parallel to each other so clear your concept about it, it that the that only parallel lines can make the corresponding angles this concept should be cleared now one more thing these two lines can be parallel when these two lines are parallel in that case the corresponding angles will always be equal how we will see it later now we will discuss few properties of the corresponding angles that you must know in order to clear your concept first property is angles are congruent only if two lines are parallel so the first property of the corresponding angles is that the corresponding angles will be 
equal congruent or equal if the two lines that are intersected by the transversal are parallel so for example if i draw so here we have the two parallel lines that are insert intersected by a transversal so here the line 1 is l1 and line 2 is this l2 and the, the transversal cut the lines and so we have the corresponding angles so if i write the value of the corresponding angles here what i will get is this red one is 68 degree angle and similarly this red one is also 68 degree angle then we have the blue one the blue one is so this blue one is 112 degree angle and similarly similarly here we have this blue one 112 degree angle. then the purple one is 112 degree here and similarly 112 degree here then what left is the green one green one is 68 degree here and similarly 68 degree here so it is clear from the figure when the two lines are parallel and intersected by a transversal the corresponding angles that are formed will be congruent so i can say that the angles are co congruent only if two lines are parallel as it is clear here that 68 degree is equal to 68 degree these are the two corresponding angles occupying the same relative positions at two different intersections 112 degree and 112 degree are same these are also corresponding angles occupying the same relative position and two different intersections but this was not the case when the two lines were not parallel so this is the property of the corresponding angle that these angles will be equal only if the two lines are parallel the next property hence from this property it is clear that if two lines are not Par parallel still we have the corresponding angles but not congruent it means the angles will not be con congruent but they will be corresponding angles so one more property of the corresponding angle is so the one more property is the types of corresponding angle so we we have the two types of corresponding angles one is the supplementary corresponding angles and the other is the complementary co corresponding angles now supplementary corresponding angles have the sum of the two corresponding angles equals to 180 degree as corresponding angles are the pair of the angles when we sum the, the values of those two angles if it is equals to 180 degree then the co corresponding angles will be supplementary corresponding angles. and in case and the second type is the complementary corresponding angles these are the corresponding angles when the sum of the two angles is equals to 90 degree it means when the sum of the two corresponding angles it becomes equals to 90 degree then those corresponding angles will be called as complementary corresponding angles so that's all from today's lecture hope so your your concept regarding corresponding angles will be clear today that corresponding angles are not only found by the parallel um, uh, by the two parallel lines intersected by the transverse transversal but also by the two lines which are not parallel and the corresponding angles are not always equal they are equal only if the two lines are parallel so these two two concepts that most of us are unaware of must be clear today so in the next lecture i will tell you how you can find the corresponding angles if you are given with, with just one single angle so that's all from today's lecture thank you